Hey guys. Hey, welcome back. Today I'm making a hamburger cheese dip that uh, I used to make all the time when my son was home. He absolutely loved this dish. Um, I used to make it for him like on the, what is that, that football weekend deal thing? I don't know, the playoffs or whatever. Um, I used to make it for him then. I don't know much about football as you can tell. Um, but anyway, we'll get started. Um, I just got done watching uh, Andy Griffith on TV. I don't think I can ever get tired of watching Andy Griffith on TV. He was just so down to earth. You felt like you, you really know him. I one time bought a, a whole big CD thing of every show he, that they made and Somehow, somewhere, that's got misplaced, and I've not seen it in a very long time, so it's on telling where it's at, but these days with TV, the way they got it, you really don't need no CDs. <clears throat> we went to the, excuse me, <clears throat> we went to the flea market uh, not too long ago, I guess it's been a couple months ago, and uh, we bought uh, one of those uh, fire sticks. Uh, fire stick TV things and I'm telling you it's overwhelming how many sh movies and TV shows and all that stuff that you can find on there and you'd be sitting in front of the TV all day long if you watched everything on there but as soon as uh, Andy Griffith went off right then that show uh, uh, I Love Lucy I guess is the name of it came on and um Mommy would sit up all night long watching reruns of I Love Lucy. She absolutely loved that show. And I've tried and tried and tried to watch that show, and I never can. And get to, I mean, never can learn to get into it, seemed to me like. So I don't know what she enjoyed about that show, but she really, really did love it. I watch different things on TV. Do y'all ever watch that uh, 90 Day Fiance thing on TV? Well, they got one now. 90, uh, can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's called 90 Day Fiance uh, Over There, I think is what it's called, Over There. It's where, um, you know the, the original one, 90 Day Fiance, it's where... <clears throat> and that the foreigners come uh, from foreign countries and marry the person from U.S. and they live over here. Well, this version of it, 90 Day Fiance, uh, 90 Day Fiance over there, is the version where the Americans go over there and live. I really like that show. And most of the time, the people that's do, that does that and goes over there, they're being conned the whole time. As one little old lady on it, she thought she'd found the love of her life and and come to find out. Well, she moved over and everything left her uh, left her uh, her daughters and and her grandkids and all that stuff and went over just to be with him, you know. And uh, she gets over there, and out in, uh, he's gone one day and left her there in the apartment by herself. And uh, she gets a knock on the door, and she's been sworn by this man's family, and uh, uh, talking in different language to her, and she didn't know what was going on. And then me yelling at her and stuff, and had her crying and all that stuff. I felt. I felt kind of sorry for her, but then again, I, I studied. No, I don't feel sorry for you because you brought that on yourself. Not going over. <laughs> but anyway, come to find out, he was married. Uh, in one of them, uh, <clears throat> what do they call them, arranged marriages, I guess, over there. That the parents arrange for you to get married in some of them countries and pick the person for you. Well, they had already picked his wife, and evidently they didn't do a good job because 
<laughs> he uh, <clears throat> said he uh, didn't love her. Is the one that he's married to. But I mean, she just uh, thinks she uh, quit her job and and everything to go over there. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Ain't no way I do something like that. No way. But I don't know. Maybe they hype them shows up. They probably do. Or somebody like me to <laughs> to go in hook, line, and sinker and fall for all of it. That's probably what they do. I can't think of the other shows that I watch, but oh yeah, watch this other one called uh, um, it's either called Life After Lockup or Love After Lockup One. Can't remember which one exactly, but uh, it's where these uh, guys or or gals are in prison, and they uh. Are, are writing these women or men on the outside and the whole time they in there they buttering them up telling them how much they love them and all this stuff and these people are these, they're sending them money well just taking care of them putting all this money on the commissary and well, they living like kings in there probably <laughs> and um as soon as they get out most of them split. Which I said I didn't feel sorry for, for them either. I should know better. I mean, some of them might be genuine, you know. But that that's, that'd be a long shot, right? I would say that's pure long shot that, that any of them would be genuine on that type of deal. But I just wonder how much money that they make off doing them little shows. I'd say if they would make their little shows and and use their head on their shoulders, that they could probably live real comfortable for a mighty long time. I know them, any of y'all ever watch Team Mom? And them girls right there have, have made a killing off of that show. I just hope that they use it wisely and and. Probably what it's intended for to go to the young ones. But the sad part is the young ones probably never see it. <laughs> People sure are weird these days. It's just hard to believe sometimes everything you see are rolling on the TV screen. I guess that's why it's a good idea to probably monitor your children. When they are watching the TV. I never did um, monitor mine on the TV because he never was on the TV much. He was on them games. And that's probably even worse. But them games. It never had no effect on my young one. So I don't know if that's a true science or not. But... If they play them vicious games that they'll turn out vicious, I don't believe that. No. Which it may, I mean, in some cases it might be true. Who knows? I don't even know. But anyway, I got my onions and the veggies, or onions and pepper, chopped up, ready to go. Oh, let me show y'all this cute little thing right here this little cutting board it's made by emerald you know the cook emerald well you just slide it back like that it's got hidden three three uh, places for three knives in there and this has been a this has been a godsend to me it's the only way i've been able to keep up with a knife is to keep it hid from everybody else they want to I have too much work for them to open that thing and go in there and get that out and wash it and put it all back. So I'm glad they, I'm glad it is for them. That way I'll keep a knife. But anyway, we'll go ahead and turn this stove on and get that heating up. And I'll get the rest of the stuff out and uh, 
I'll be right back. Okay, now guys, I'm going to cut up this block of cheese. Velveeta cheese. It is 32 ounces. So, I'm making a, a big old pack of this because um, we don't eat it. If we don't eat it all, I always try and see if I can get uh, my son to take some home or if he don't, then I'll freeze it and we'll have it one day and that'll save me a day of cooking. I like to uh, cook uh, bigger meals like that sometimes and then freeze, eat half of it for supper that night and then freeze half of it. There's these uh, women on YouTube that do that all the time. <clears throat> they'll take one day out of the they'll take one day out of their out of the month. Y'all see that? They'll take one I'm gonna cut this cheese um as probably in little bite pieces like that best I can so that it'll melt easy. Um but these women <clears throat> they'll stock up on groceries on YouTube, you'll have to watch them sometime. And they do these grocery hauls, and then uh, they'll come back with four or five hundred dollars worth of groceries and take uh, one day out of the month and cook what they call freezer meals for the whole month. There's a couple of families I watch like that, but I can't I can't think of their name right now. But they all have like a, a large family, big large family. Like, I think one of them's got like 10 in their family or something like that. If I remember, I'll link their, their pages at the, under the description on this video. So y'all can check them out. But they're really cool to watch. Like when she makes a, lasagna or something like that she'll make four or five pans of lasagna at one time and save one out for supper that night and then freeze the rest of them so that's what i like to do i i do it with a meatloaf but i don't fix that many at a time be lucky to get one in the freezer be lucky to get one extra meal in the freezer but anyway I imagine y'all watching me chop this cheese. It's pretty boring at this point, so I'll bring y'all back in a minute when we get ready to cook hamburger meat. Hey guys, I'm back. I gotta set y'all down here the best I could so you all can see better. I hope it's a better angle. I've got an old cast iron skillet here that I've not used in quite some time. So I'm gonna see how it does. <clears throat> the reason I'm using it today is because of uh, of that big pack of hamburger meat, the pans I've got usually don't hold that much at one time. But these are supposed to be the best cookers anyway. The only reason I don't ever use it much is because they're too heavy to handle. So I'm going ahead and putting in my onions. That's one onion head. And sauteing that up. Now I got my green pepper. We want to cook this down a little bit. also get so hot on these you can't you can't really hold them. I guess I need to get some of them things that goes on the end of the handle. I had to take a break just a minute. It's raining outside and every time it rains um, my little dog gets so scared. So I had to take a break and cuddle him. 
for a minute or two, but I wash my hands now, so don't come at me for that one. I'm going to keep um, sauteing these vegetables up. I guess there are a lot of hunters that hunt today. I don't know if today's the first day or not of hunting. How many of y'all like uh, deer meat? I've cooked it before, but I don't like to. It's some, I just don't like cooking that meat at all. I don't like the way it tastes. I've tried it all kinds of different ways. I've tried letting it marinate and all that stuff. It still has a ooey taste. I don't know. But I like deer jerky. And when I do get these uh, vegetables uh, soft, I'll take this to the sink and I'll drain that extra grease out of it. Or I'll probably just put the hamburger meat right in on top of it and just drain it all at once. All together, I mean. So. This still locks a few minutes, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, it's ready now. I'm going to go ahead and, and put the hamburger meat in there. And about this new thing, I'm going to try it out and see how it works. This chopper thing. To separate the hamburger. See what a load I got in there? It'll cook down some, though. When I get it broke up a minute, I'm going to put some seasoning in it. That does work pretty good, guys. Not a bad investment. I think I get $3 for it. Now I'm pretty good break up your hamburger meat they come up all kinds of gadgets don't they and it's kind of rainy outside go ahead and I'm gonna put some of this in the meat You just want to put that seasoning all over the top. It may look like it's too much, but it, it'll be fine. Now, I don't salt this because the chips that you use, the scoops that you use, are already saltier enough. So, I want to salt this. these old pans but they're awful heavy to me. I don't hold like a heavy pan because I'm kind of weak in my arms and stuff. And it's a battle leaking it to the to the sink to get drained. But I'll let this get done cooking and I'll bring you back when we get ready to throw the cheese in there. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, I went ahead and drained that. And boy, that's a heavy skillet. Trust and believe, that's a heavy skillet. Okay, I got the hamburger and stuff in here. After it's been drained, I'm going to go ahead and pour in this can of uh, diced tomatoes. I'm going to go ahead and pour in this can of tomato sauce. And I transferred it in this cooker because um, you won't have no room in that skillet time you put your uh, your cheese in there I'm 
I'm going to go ahead and start dropping in a little bit of the cheese at a time. Just drop it in. I'm going to cut the heat down just a tad. I'm going to drop in about half of it. And stir that in. Get that melting. And then I'll drop in the other half. Okay, guys, what you do is you just keep stirring this until you see your cheese is melting. And then just keep putting it in until all your cheese is gone. And I'll be back with you and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, <clears throat> it's done. Uh, guys, it's very important that you constantly stir this when you throw the cheese in there or it will melt on you. So make sure that you are constantly stirring. I'll try to show you. See it there? What it looks like. It is so good, guys. You're going to have to try this recipe. Um, what you do is you get these tortilla chips. Tortitos, whatever scoops and you just put your uh, stuff in a bowl and you just scoop them like that mm-hmm so very good y'all have to try this y'all really, really have to try this I hope y'all enjoyed this video and guys it would really help me out if you all um, hit the subscribe button. That way you all be, and hit the little bell beside of it. You'll be notified each time I upload a new video. I hope you enjoyed this one. And then until next time, see ya.